In this video, I'm going to introduce you to pseudocode. So introduction to pseudocode. So what is a pseudocode? Pseudocode is a kind of structured English for describing algorithms. Okay, it allows the designer to focus on the logic of the program. So what does this mean? This means there is no need for you to worry about the syntax of the programming language. Okay, so you have many different programming languages. They have their own particular syntax. You, when you're designing a program with pseudocode, you don't have to think about on the syntax of the specific program, programming languages. Okay, so pseudocode can be broken down into five components. You can have variables, and you can have things assigned to those variables. You can have assignments. You can have output, input. You can have selection, or you can have iteration. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to look at each one individually, okay? And so the first one we're going to look at is assignment. How do you assign something to a variable? Okay, you can write simple statements to actually assign something to a variable, okay? So for example, if, if you have this uh, variable called total, okay? So in pseudocode, you could just simply write the name of the variable, and it means it's automatically declared for you. Unlike the programming language, you have to declare something first in some programming languages. So here I have a total, and the way to assign something, I'm just gonna, you just have to have put a simple arrow to in, indicate that something is going to be assigned to this variable. Okay, so I'm going to do is I'm going to assign five. So this means the five will be assigned to this variable called to total. You can also assign other variables into an, a variable. So you can just simply write, for example, in this case, adult is actually assigned to cost. So whatever the value is inside adult, it actually goes into cost. But you can do other things with it. You can multiply the, 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 the same variable. You can add other variables to it, and you can multiply again. Okay, so you can do stuff like that. Or you can have things like if you have a counter, for example, you're counting something, you want to increment it by one, you can do counter is assigned to counter plus one, and you will actually increment by one. Okay. So the next thing we're going to look at is actually out, out, output something. Okay, so the output, when you output something, you can just simply write the word output. I prefer the word output to be written in, in capitals. Okay, so you write the output, and then basically you have your statements. You can have it basically uh, statements written down. Whatever the message you want to give out to the user, you can just write that down. So in this case here, you said, please enter your name. You can, when you write output, you can have, the out the message you can have it within the brackets that's correct that's no problem or you can have a double quotation mark that's also correct or you can have a single quote for the output for your message it's still all fine they're all correct so they're fine okay so now how do you in, uh, input something so just once you have your output okay to the user so the user reads the message that he's going to type something in you're going to get a user uh, input data so what how do you actually store the input data so the first thing you need to do is basically you create a variable okay so you can again simply just write the name of the variable here i have a, a variable called first name you can see i have two words there you can have first and the name even though i have two words I concatenate them together. I, I, you, um, the variable names are always one word. You can't have two words. If you separate them, that's incorrect. You have to put them together. So I have first name uh, uh, concatenated together, I guess joined together. So then, then you put an arrow to indicate that, okay, there's something actually going into there. And what's going in there, I'm just going to write the word user input, which means whatever the user types in, that particular data is going to be stored into, inside this variable called first name. So the next thing we're going to look at is selection. Selection is a construct allows for a choice between performing an action and skipping it. Okay, so you can have selection statements like if statements. So you have your if statements, and then here, you, uh, in between where it says conditions, you can just write your statement conditions here, whatever condition. After you have your conditions, if the condition is true, you can have your statements. Otherwise, you have your else statements, and then you can as statements, you can write the statements here as well. And just to end your if statement, you can just write end if, and that will be correct, okay? So end your if statements. The next thing we're going to look at is iteration. Iteration means repeating something, okay, more than once. You can have section of your code you repeat, want to repeat, or it can be line of your code or, or lines of code you want to repeat, okay? So there are many, uh, okay, different types, uh, types of uh, iteration statements. So the first one we look at is for loop. Okay, so for loop, you can have your for loop. To start your for loop, you just start, write the word for, and you have your conditions 
here well, you can it, this is a control iterations you can repeat how many times you want to repeat you can con control it and then you have your main call that you want to repeat here main pet you want how many times you want to repeat and you want to end it you just write end for and it will actually end your for loop okay so uh, that's your uh, for loop the next one we're going to look at is a while loop so you have your while loops there's your while loop, and you can write your conditions here whatever the condition you want to put it there and whatever you want to repeat you have it here okay so you will repeat that section again and once you want to finish it you just want to write end while and that can end your while the next thing we're going to look at is basically repeat until loop so you again you write the word repeat and then you have your condition here and whatever you want to repeat you'll have it in these sections here okay there's your section going to be repeated and when you want to end the repeat loop you just simply write the word until and that will re, uh, end your re, uh, repeat until loop okay and that uh, that's your repeat until loop here okay so there you have your iterations as well okay these are simple things you can use to actually write your pseudocode